All right. But then I was writing white and you know white burn. Hello, my name is Volker Vogel. I will now show you the functions of the smart urban vehicle. When you drive your standard car at home, you will have and notice a steering angle which feels like that when you look out of the window. What we have in this car is an additional double steering angle that you can do and that's how it feels. So you can basically turn around on the spot. For you to understand better what's happening in the kinematics, we added a video into the wheelhouse. This is happening with the lower suspension when I turn around. Let's take a look at the upper suspension. This is how it looks like. And turn around and you see all the control bars going to the other side. And how have you achieved the extra, extra turning circle? Well, we added some more joints in the steering and of course we had to redesign uh, all the suspension. Now I will show you the advantage of this system during a parking sequence. <coughs> so let's turn around here. Do you think you can turn around here with your car? No, it will be difficult. Yeah, we can do it. What's the turning radius of this car? 6 meters 50. <clears throat> so I park the car here. I take my smartwatch. I start my application. I'm getting the vehicle ready to park using the smartwatch. I enable the smartwatch. And now when I press the button, it's rolling. When I release the button, it's stopping. Now I will press the park comment all the time until I'm all the way in the parking lot. On this side over there you can see the other vehicles that we measure using the ultrasonic sensors here. Now we are measuring the parking lot and once we have the parking lot measured, the system is vibrating. Like now. We continue a meter forward <coughs> and then we turn around the direction of speed and we go into the parking lot. That's great. <laughs> and uh, would you like to show the third feature? Yeah. The, the remote? I will go now into the parking so that you see how it's happening. And please take a look at the screen here. During the parking we use torque vectoring on the rear axle. Torque vectoring means that during the left curve backward that we do now, we have negative torque on the right wheel and positive torque on the left wheel. This helps a lot during this parking sequence. Now we are all the way parked. Now you can go meet your friends Thank and you. after you're done, what's the goal? Park out. So let's do that. I keep my finger pressed <coughs> until we are fully parked out. What is happening right now? All right. Now I will show you another feature. I will take my car for a walk. Just in, in. Yes. And this is how it works. I have the ability to control the car using the tablet. Forward, forward to the right, backward, and to the left forward. And how have you achieved this? This is the tablet is communicating via Wi-Fi. It's taking the comments, and the safety is that once I release the button, the vehicle stops. Okay, thank you very much. I'm happy to show you.